What's going on guys and girls? We are here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete all the mission tasks for mission 44 which is the total stealth version of Pitch Dark. So in this mission you've got one thing that you need to take in. You need to take in some sort of explosive whether you take in a rocket launcher or something like that or take in C4. I highly recommend using C4 especially because it's a total stealth one. You don't want them knowing your location by shooting a rocket launcher at the uh, oil tanker thingy. So then also what I'm going to be using is the sleep grenade, the stun arm, the tranquilizer sniper rifle and the tranquilizer pistol. Those are basically all the things that I'm going to be using during this mission. And this mission is one of those annoying ones you have to do twice because of the fact that you have the uh, one mission task where you have to extract the walker gears sealing off the oil field and then you've got another mission task which is get out of the oil field and uh, get out of the hot zone before the oil field is sealed off. So there's just that kind of thing so you have to do it twice so I'm going to be doing the first time I'm going to go through this I'm going to uh, get out of here before the oil field is sealed off and the second time I'm going to do it I'm going to uh, get the four walker gears and then extract from the hot zone. So first things first we're going to mark off where some of the things are so this is where the four child soldiers are located and then this is where you are going to find I think it's a vulture the just the bird that you have to extract during this mission for one of the mission tasks and then that is where you're going to get the oil field and get to the other mission tasks so what we're going to do is we as we get out of the vehicle there is a cutscene so you can actually skip that little bit if you want to skip that uh, I just decided not to because I don't know why just didn't do it because uh, it doesn't basically it doesn't really seem like a cutscene but it is a cutscene and what we're doing now is we just have to head over towards the child soldiers there are going to be a bunch of soldiers around that area so you have to uh, be able to take them out as well so just as we're running in there you just have to run up this way you guys probably already know this because you've probably done the uh, normal version of this mission this mission is one of those I total stealth ones are just kind of annoying because you have to you can't get spotted at all and you're not you don't have reflex mode or anything to help you so we're just going to tranquilize that guy in the face so that we can get past him and then we're just going to jump down there luckily we slide a little bit so we only need to jump once and this guy is going to notice us but he is not going to know exactly what he saw so he's he's not enough to be alerted he's enough to be alerted to our thing but he's not enough to like set a combat alert kind of thing so as soon as he, if he had noticed us uh, completely, then what would have happened is he would have uh, had the red uh, exclamation mark on top of him and then you would have lost the mission. As you guys probably already know. So we're just extracting these two guys because we don't want them waking up later on and annoying us. So just by extracting them, they get rid of them from the uh, mission area and we don't have to worry about them at all for the rest of the mission. So what we're doing here is we're just going to sneak up along here and we're going to be using the stun arm to get all of the child soldiers uh, sleep. They stun them and then also stun all of the soldiers around the child soldiers so that we don't have to sit around tranquilizing them all or something like that. So just by using the stun arm it's just going to get them all very easily without alerting them to my presence. So that is why we're just sneaking along here. We just want to make sure that none of these guys spot us or hear us. So we just want to sneak along the ground, crawl along the ground, and once we get close enough, we are going to use the stun arm. So round about here is when you want to start uh, charging it up because it takes quite a while to charge. And once you get close enough, you should be fully charged. And remember, it's 40 meters. The radius uh, uh, for this stun arm is 40 meters. So once you everyone is within 40 meters of, of you, then you can actually just use it and it'll get everyone within that radius. So once we've got that guy, those, we want to just tranquilize this guy. You don't really need to tranquilize this guy, I just end up doing it. And then I am going to extract all four child soldiers. So this is the location, just in case you use the timestamp. Uh, you guys probably already know that location, but I'm just going to show it to you anyway. And then we're just going to extract these child soldiers out of here very easily without having to worry about anyone spotting us. So now what we have to do is we're just going to head towards the vehicle. Now there is a jeep in this um, command post sort of area. So what we want to do is, it's not really a command post, in this little, whatever you would call this little um, village kind of area. So we're just going to head over here so that we can start tranquilize. We can just tranquilize some of these guys so that we can get past them. 
And once we've got past them, there is a vehicle just on the way out of this little village. So we're just waiting for this guy to get close enough so that we can tranquilize him. We end up hitting him in the helmet. It's very hard to see him through that little bit of grass. You don't really need to get that guy, I don't think, but I just decide to be very careful uh, because it's the total stealth version. I just really want to make sure that no one's going to spot me completely. So there's also that guard there and there are also two other soldiers. Now depending on when you get to this point, you may have the soldiers uh, inside the little building and the little hut. So what I decided to do is throw a sleep grenade towards them and it does work through the door, but uh, you also have to make sure that they don't run away before it actually puts them to sleep. So I don't think I throw it close, quite close enough. And so it doesn't get both of them, it only uh, gets one of them and or do I get none of them at this point? Oh, one of them walks towards it to investigate and he ends up falling asleep so I start throwing another one and the second one I throw ends up putting this guy to sleep because he doesn't run away, he just dives on the ground which is not going to get him far enough away. So now that we have got into the vehicle we are going to head towards the Vulture and that is where we are going to extract him so you just want to head this way uh, towards the B location that I have placed on our map. So as you can see it's only 700 meters away and you also want to watch out for the soldiers that are just at that command post right there, that little base. So you just want to, don't want to be spotted by them. So just along here you're going to find a couple of donkeys as well so if you haven't got any donkeys uh, you can also extract them and that can count towards your conservation trophy or achievement. So if you want to do that, you can do that. Uh, you guys probably have already done that, especially if you've done this mission before, which you probably should have. And I highly recommend doing the earlier version of this mission before doing uh, the harder version of this mission, this total stealth version. It just helps you to learn all of the mission tasks before you end up doing it like this, and it just helps you out. So as you saw before, the vulture is still flying around. It is not landed on the ground or anything, or in a tree or anything like that. It's still flying around. So once we've spotted it, we're just going to have to shoot it out of the sky using our tranquilizer sniper rifle. And so you just want to aim just a little bit in front of it, so that you can, because the tranquilizer will take a little time. There's a bullet flight time in this game, and then you just want to extract it. So this is the location of the vulture that when I found it. Sometimes it could be on the ground, sometimes it could be uh, perched on top of a building and sometimes it can be even in trees sometimes. So you just want to be careful and look around so you can see it and once you find it then you just want to tranquilize it and extract it. And that will be that mission task complete. Now all we want to do is we want to move on to the next one. I'm just showing you that I've actually completed those two mission tasks and we're just going to move on to the next ones. So just head towards the oil field now, that is uh, permanently marked on your map as the yellow marker because that is the main emission task you need to complete. And once you get here what, what you want to do is you want to hop off your vehicle and jump uh, towards that. Now I do believe, yep, my vehicle does explode, you don't want that to happen because that could alert someone. This guy, luckily no one actually heard the explosion, but that guy did end up being uh, alerted to the the fireball and all that sort of stuff, my car on fire, and he was like very curious about what was happening, so make sure to uh, tranquilize him. And depending on when you arrive here, will change the uh, locations of the soldiers. So you just have to be aware of that. So if you get here a lot earlier, or if you're do, doing this at night, or during this in the morning, you will have different times, different locations of these uh, soldiers. So you just want to be aware of that. Now luckily none of them were able to hear that explosion of my car exploding. So hopefully you won't do that. I just decided to jump out of my vehicle. I didn't realize it was going to drive into a cliff and explode. But luckily it didn't end up alerting anyone. So what we're doing here is we're just going to sneak up here and we're going to go over to the oil drum place and we're going to place some C4 on that to blow it up. These guys have spotted me kind of so what we want to do is we just want to tranquilize them. With a sniper rifle you can hit them once in the leg and they or once anywhere where it's going to actually tranquilize them and they actually fall asleep really quickly with this sniper rifle so that is very helpful. And then you also want to make sure that this guy up there, so that is at the door that you have to go in to turn off the pump. And you want to make sure that he doesn't spot these guys fall asleep. So what we want to also do is we're just going to tranquilize him as well. Shooting him in the head or in the legs or something like that, just to get rid of him. 
and we're just going to move up and just make sure that no one is around is going to spot us and we're just going to extract these guys just so that they are out of the way and they don't wake up later on and become a nuisance so the more that you extract the more soldiers you extract the less you have to worry about when you're trying to get out of the oil field and the less likely you're going to be spotted by someone waking up or anything like that this gate is sometimes locked, sometimes unlocked, so depending on, I don't know what, I don't know actually what causes it, sometimes it's just unlocked, so just sometimes you have to unlock it, so just be aware of that. And then I am going to place some C4 there, one of these guys is going to notice me, so we're just going to tranquilize him, and then we're just going to move on. I think we need to tranquilize one more person, no, there's a different uh, time I did this mission. And we're just going to move along here. And we just want to make sure we know exactly where the soldier that is near us, who's just down there, is. You can go down and extract, tranquilize him and extract him if you want us to. Uh, I just decide to keep heading forward towards this. Now you can just drop down here, as long as that guy's not looking in a spot where he can see you. And then just walk along here and get across to the pump. So we're not going to detonate the C4 until we are out of the oil field just so it makes it a bit easier for us to run away from the uh, oil field and extract from the mission area before anything like that happens. So what we're going to do is we're uh, just going to sneak up here so we can get to the pump. And once we get to the pump we can turn that off and then get out of the mission area pretty quickly. But we also, want, we also have to destroy the the oil thing, de detonate your C4 a bit later on. This guy's starting to come down the stairs, so we're just going to tranquilize him. So we're just going to shoot him twice with our pistol. And so we can get him down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to extract this guy once again, just so that we can get rid of the body and get rid of another person out of the area, so we don't have to worry about them later on. And we're going to tranquilize this guy. He has noticed that one of our these, um, soldiers is down. So if he didn't tranquilize him, he would have called an alert saying something's odd going on. And I believe this guy over here has also spotted the guy down. So we're just going to try and tranquilize him. Unfortunately, we don't do it before he calls in the alert. So now we want to make sure that we wait for him to finish talking before we tranquilize him. Otherwise, the other person on the other side of the radio will actually notice that something's gone wrong. Now just here, this guy is starting to wake up, so you want to be very careful about what I just did. I just walked around the corner without checking that. And then there's also this guy who has noticed us, so we are going to also tranquilize him. And we missed the first time, but we're going to get him the second time. Just so that he doesn't come and investigate exactly where we are. And we're just going to get rid of this guy again. And so we can move along. And we just have to unlock this door and get into the pump and turn it off. So once you turn off the pump, there will be that cutscene of them showing the bodies and all that sort of stuff. And you can just skip that once it allows you to skip it. And we are just going to head out of here. And now we are going to try and get out of the oil field area before we detonate the C4. So just heading along here, I'm just going to start throwing some sleep grenades over this way. Just to put these guys to sleep. And just makes it a bit easier. Now I do throw these a bit too far because it's kind of hard to see exactly where I'm throwing them because of just where these guys are positioned and that's just going to help me get out of this bit very quickly without being spotted because most of the guys are over here so depending on how you did this uh, the guys might be in different locations this just happened to be how I ended up completing this part and you just want to be very careful about running just like I did there because there are lots of guards around here that are going to be Alert, sometimes alerted to the fact that I just uh, threw a bunch of tranquilized uh, sleep grenades. Not tranquilized grenades. I guess you could call them tranquilized grenades, but they are just sleep grenades. And we're just going to tranquilize that guy because he is our way out of here. He is just in our way. So, And we're going to get this guy so that he doesn't wake up anyone else. So now what we're doing is we just have to get out of the area and then delete, d d detonate the C4. So once you get out of here, I'm just going to make sure I've got the C4 selected and we're just going to detonate it. Now because we don't have D-Horse with us, we've got D-Dog instead and we don't have our vehicle in over here, we are going to have to run out of the mission area. There are two um, containers that you can actually use to extract yourself out of here, but I have had some people say that that doesn't work. 
if you use those containers, you don't get the mission task. So what we're going to do is we are just going to head out of here. We are going to run. If you do run, you can actually get out of here in time. I uh, wasn't actually too sure about it when I was like, oh no, I don't have any, any way of getting out of here. So I was like, oh, what am I going to do? So I just decided to run. Uh, this is just what I came up with when I first did it. And we, you do actually have time to run all the way out of the hot zone. Uh, just like this. As long as you maybe you may have to have the fully upgraded uh, movement arm. So that is your bionic arm movement speed. And that increases your run speed and all that sort of stuff. So I have got everything like that upgraded. So it just makes it a lot easier for me to get out of here before they seal off the oil field and then we can get that mission task. So the, I'm just, there's not much to talk about here. I'm just running around, running away. And eventually we will get to the edge of the hot zone. So I know it's over here somewhere, and we just, so we just keep running and running and running and running and running until we actually get out of it. There may be a quicker way out of the hot zone, like the area, but there we go. We get out of there, and we will get the mission uh, task, because you will see it in... When do you see it? You actually see it pop up, don't you? There we go. Five out of six mission tasks. So now the only one we have to actually get is the extract all four walker gears that seal off the zone the hot the oil field so i do get s rank as you can see and i get 205,000 points it's easily enough uh points to get an s rank so what we're doing now is i'm just skipping it all the way back to this point and instead of extracting out of the mission area quickly what we're going to do is we're going to blow up the oil field thing and then extract the two walking the four walking years sorry so there will be two at two, both entrances to the um, oil field. So there's the one we we ran out before, and then there's going to be two over where we entered the oil field. So we're just going to head over this way. Now remember, this is another playthrough, so there are, these guys are actually going to be in different locations. So we are just going to try and get rid of these guys and get over here. Now I have uh, and I have extracted a bunch more guys this time around. So it's just going to make it a lot easier for me to sneak around this area without being spotted. I'm just going to get rid of that guy because he is just in my way. I don't really want him to spot me because we are doing the total stealth version. And I do end up pausing it just there, just by accident. So we just have to keep moving on. And once we get about to here, this is when it's a good spot to detonate the C4. So that's what I'm going to do right over here. I'm just going to lie down. And we are just going to detonate it once we get to a place where I know that I'm not going to get spotted. So round about here, I think I just wait for this guy to pass. Uh, maybe tranquilize him first. Nope, I just wait for him to go past. And we're just going to detonate the C4. So that is going to alert them. You are now going to get a cutscene. And the cutscene didn't happen last time because we were outside of the oil field. But if you're actually inside the oil field, you will get a cutscene like that. And because that has happened, now we are just going to tranquilize some of these guys that may end up spotting us. We just want to make sure we get rid of them. And then we just have to wait for the walker gears to show up. So like I said before, this is the area that we entered the oil field. So this is where we are going to see two of the walker gears. And then the place where we exited the oil field last time is where we were going to see the other two walker gears. So now all we have to do is just wait for them to arrive. It does take a little bit longer than I thought it did. So if you blow up the oil field um, earlier, so just set, blow up your C4 earlier, then you will end up getting the walkie gears to you a bit quicker. You don't have to wait for them as much. But then you also have to try and get past all the scars that are now on serious alert. They, do, they have a full alert that you are around. So you just want to be careful about that. So we're just waiting for them to arrive. It does take a little bit. So we just have to wait for them. They, I think they end up coming through the gap. They don't come across the road. They end up coming through the gap between, just like straight in front of us, right in front of us. And so once they show up, I will show you exactly where they stop and then where they'll start waiting. And they'll just stay there until basically you get spotted or something like that. And then we aren't going to be get spotted so they'll just stay in the same position once they arrive and there's not much to talk about i'm just waiting for it so there's go there's one 
and the other one shouldn't be too far behind. This is actually the first time I actually see them uh, arrive. Last time I didn't actually see them arrive and I actually got spotted by one. Uh, so you just want to be careful about that. And then we're just going to tranquilize these guys because it's super, super simple and easy to get do that. So there is one of them. We're going to get the one behind the other one first so that he doesn't get notice. None of them notice that the other one is falling asleep. And then just go over there and extract the walker gears. Very simple and easy. You can also use one to get over to the other one very quickly. But I decided to just extract them and then run over there because we're trying to do this total stealth because we don't want to get spotted. So that is the location of the walker gears. So there's two of them. And there are another two over here on this road just over here. So that's where we're placing our marker so we can run over there and get there very quickly. There is going to be a guard just over here. This just happens to be where he is when I'm trying to get past. Uh, so you just want to be very careful about him. So I decided to tranquilize him because I just didn't want any chance of him spotting me. So we just tranquilize them and then just keep running until you get over to the other walker gears. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to use the stun arm because I thought, why not? I can actually try and get really close to them with the stun arm. Uh, but just the way that I decided to go ends up uh, meaning that one of them does spot me before I can actually get close enough to using the stun arm. So I decide to swap over to the sleep grenades. So this is when I actually attempted to use the stun arm. So I was like, okay, let's just go over here and just charge up the stun arm. Because if you get close enough, you could probably sneak up behind them. Uh, but this guy does end up spotting me. So instead of using the stun arm because I'm too far away, I decide to just swap to the grenades, sleep grenades, and then just start throwing them like a madman all over that area just to make sure that they all go to sleep. <coughs> So once you've just got everyone asleep, it takes some of them quite a while. So I just keep throwing them until they're all asleep. And now that they're all asleep, we can just go down there and extract the walker gears and that will be that mission task complete. And then all you have to do is get out of the hot zone. So we have to also watch out for the smoke grenades in ourselves. So you just want to make sure that you don't run into it when the gas is still all like super present because otherwise you will put yourself to sleep and you'll have to like, do that. Uh, tap triangle and wiggle the stick to wake yourself up So there we go. That is all four walker gears extracted and you should get the mission task to pop up uh, I think I already extracted them before so that's why the mission task doesn't show up for me Oh, uh, no, there it is actually right there. So there we go Just took a little bit of lag before it showed it up and we are going the reason we're going back into the oil field is we're going to use one of these containers over here to extract ourselves out of the hot zone so you might be able to use these to get out of the hot zone uh, before the gear, the walker gears arrive and seal it off. Uh, but some people have said that that didn't work for them on the first try. So maybe that doesn't work, but I can show you that anyway, just in case. And of course, once we've done that, we end up getting an S rank as well. Because uh, we got 172,000 points that time. Just because we had to wait for the walker gears and all that sort of stuff. And that's all I'm going to do for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have now got all the mission tasks for that mission. And possibly also an S rank. And now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls. And hopefully see you in the next video.